Welcome to AEG Motorhomes in Starbridge and today we're going to have a, a first look at Swift's 2022 model Escape 640. Swift have completely revamped the Escape range for 2022 so this is quite a nice opportunity for us to have a, a good look around it. So as you can see it's on the Fiat Series 8 engine, it's a 2.2, 140 brake horsepower as standard. The 640 measures 6.99 metres in length, just under 7 metres, and is on the 3.5 ton chassis, so anybody can drive it on a full UK licence. So let's have a look, let's see what's new for 2022. So Swift has still got the smart construction panelling, GRP with a hail resistant roof. On top of the roof we have a 100 watt solar panel and a directional aerial as standard. All the Swift Escape range now comes with a garage, a full size garage, regardless of the model, uh, which is on the back doors. Let's have a look. Walk into the garage area. Okay, okay, oh, in there we've got the carpets, etc. But a good full size garage area there, so you can keep your bikes inside if you choose to do so. LED awning lights on the outside as well, and these smart new graphics. Give the Swift a new fresh look for 2022. Through the back of the motorhome we've got a single lens camera and we've got the rails on there ready for a bike rack if you choose to do so. It's a bright morning today so sorry about the sun glare there. A full size garage entrance on the driver's side. Gas locker which will take two 6 kilo bottles. Still got the electric drop down for the fresh and waste water. and we've still got the Truma heating. As I said earlier, we're now on the Fiat Series 8 engine, so that's the Euro 6D, LED compliant, LZED compliant, get that right, sorry. So new in the cab for Fiat, the steering wheel now has the, the controls on there, so for your telephone, your cruise control. We have a seven inch touch screen, display which is um, has Apple Play and Android system on there as well. The Dometic single hand operation lines, cab air conditioning, this one's a six speed manual. We have these nice captain's chairs finished in Calypso fabric through the seats and we'll have a look at the lounge area. So Swift have now gone for the parallel seating and underneath you have the pop-up Agouti travel seats with ISOFIX. The table is electric rise and fall and it does fold over to give you a nice eating area in the evenings. <clears throat> this is a 640 model, so it does have a drop down bed here as well. That's also electric. Uh, so it makes a four berth, but if you are using it as a two berth, you can bring that bed all the way down. So that would sit on the base seats of the seat. LED lighting and good on Swift. A few extra 230 sockets for when you're on hook up. One either side. In fact, Swift have actually put plug sockets everywhere. So you've got two there, you've got one up there for your TV and your uh, 12 volt socket for the TV there. A couple more in the kitchen area. Happy days. Lots and lots of plug sockets and USBs throughout the motorhome. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen so many in a motorhome. All the windows have got the fly screens and the blackouts. Into the kitchen, as you'd expect with any British design van, we have the Dometic microwave. This has got the flatbed microwave, so if I just open it up, you can see that there's no turntable to fall out and damage your work surface below. Hooray! 
we have got the Thetford combination oven with the three gas burners and one electric burner on the top there. Nice work area and we've got the lift up extra workspace as well. I love these taps, they look so elegant. So above the door, Swift, I've gone back to um, the control panel. Easy to use, simple functions, on off button. Select your lighting. Trimmer heating. Gas or electric. All very user friendly and easy to use. I'm loving this motor own. The domestic fridge freezer can open either way. So we can open it from the lounge area or if we're coming in from the washroom, we can open it from that side as well. There's so much to like about this motorhome. But, without fail, for a van of seven meters, this washroom is not to be scoffed at. Separate toilet and shower. Step inside to the rear. We have a mirrored wardrobe area. So the whole area is not only just a washroom, but it also becomes a dress room as well. You can get to the garage from inside here. Another nice touch, especially when it's pouring down with rain, which it so often does in the UK. So, the agouti seats underneath, you remove these cushions. Let's see if I can do it single-handed. Let's see how easy it is to do. Very man-like, poofing the cushions off. I'm doing it one-handed, that's my excuse. Below there, that is your seating area there. And we've just got a little dial there. I am gonna have to put my phone down. So the little dial there, I'm just going to twist and that is going to bring the seat up. Simple as. I then use a seating cushion for a base for it to go on. It is ISO fix, so you can put a child seat on there. It has got a three way seat belt on there. And unlike some models, it is so simple to put up and to put back down. Just that twist of the button. As you can see at the front there, we've got a USB point for charging the phones while people are travelling in the rear. So if you'd like to see more of this new Swift Escape 640, you can come to us here at AUG Motorhomes on Birmingham Street, Starbridge. Or you can give one of our sales staff a call. Uh, the telephone number is 01384 848 439 or visit our website where you'll be able to get more information of this motorhome. I hope you've enjoyed the motorhome. I hope you've enjoyed the video and apologies about my one-handed assembly of the seat but you can see there how, how, how easy it is uh, to, to do. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you've liked or got any comments, please put them in below so uh, it makes things a lot better for us and we can improve our videos throughout the this season. Thanks.